to talk to you today about like one of the least attended church services all year long. And sadly, it's Quasimodo Genity, the Sunday after Easter. You know, because, I mean, you don't want to go to church anymore, right? You went Palm Sunday, you know. Hosannas, loud Hosannas. You went Monday, Thursday. You went Good Friday. Maybe even went to the Easter vigil on Saturday for like five hours. Then you went Easter Sunday. It's like you're churched out. You need a break. But the thing is, big stuff happened a week later. Remember, Jesus appeared to the disciples in the upper room on Easter Sunday. Peter, James, John, Andrew, Bartholomew, all these cool cats up there. The door's locked from fear of the Jews. What does he say? He says, I'm mad at you. Get away from me. No, he comes to the door and he says, peace be with you. But someone's not there. Who's not there? Thomas. That's how we get doubting Thomas because the disciples go. He said, we saw the Lord. And he says, unless I put my finger into his hands, my hand into his side, I will never believe it. So maybe instead of doubting Thomas, we should just call him unbeliever Thomas because that's what he is. He doesn't believe it. So what does Jesus do? Well, he waits a week, lets Thomas stew in it a little bit. And then Jesus appears to them again with Thomas there. And he says, peace be with you. Come on, Thomas, put your finger here. Put your hand here. Stop disbelieving and believe. And Thomas confesses, my Lord and my God. And Jesus then gives this great gift to the church. He gives the office of the keys. Because he tells the apostles, whoever sins you forgive, they are forgiven. Whoever sins you do not forgive, they are not forgiven. And he sends them out to do that work of forgiving sin. That's what quasi-modo genity, or the first Sunday after Easter, is all about. The keys, the forgiveness that Jesus purchased in his blood wounds and death for you. And who does he send out to do it? Pretty pathetic guys. Pastors. He sends out Peters and Jameses and Thomases. Doubters and deniers. He sends you a weak pastor, a sinful guy, to preach that forgiveness to you. So let us rejoice in that. No longer Thomas then denied when he had his hand in his side, but confessed. And so we doubters, we skeptics, we, you know, armchair unbelievers still get forgiven our sins, just as the early apostles did. God bless you all. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.